You will know my next guest from movies like Man of Steel, where he played Superman, and in Netflix, Enola Holmes. Now, though, Hollywood star Henry Cavill, he is back in fantasy drama, The Witcher. Well, Henry Cavill joins me now. It's so good to see you. And you've brought somebody very special. <laughs> I have indeed. This is Cal, yes. <laughs> oh, Cal is gorgeous. Is he your best friend in the whole world? Uh, he really is. Yeah. He really is. Yeah, we, we go everywhere together. Um, he's eight now. And um, he has saved my um, emotional, psychological bacon plenty of times. Really? How yeah. is he? That, is that important to you? He is that important to me. We have an incredibly close bond. Mm. And, um, yeah. It's, I'm not uh, surprised. I, I don't think we deserve dogs, to be honest. They are the bestest things ever. They Got so incredible. many of us through the past couple of years, right? Yes. I love that he's your bestest friend. Gosh, The Witch has been so successful, hasn't it? It has indeed, yeah. It's been amazing. But the, the character you play is so interesting. How you get a handle on this guy... I mean, stoic doesn't even come to describe him. I don't know the words you can use. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> Ger Geralt, um, he's... Because he's 70 plus years old. Yes. And he's, he's looking good on it, to be fair. He's looking great on it, 70 plus, <laughs> yeah. Um, he's, and he's generally um, hated by everyone. He has a few friends about the place who know his worth, um, and he has his Witcher brothers. Mm. But uh, he's generally hated, and so stoicism is his form of defense. Right. Um, he's a white knight deep down, definitely a representation of good. And he's always tried to help people. and. Over time, he's sort of built this wall up around him to the, the stoicism. Yeah. Um, still tries to help people, though, and still ends up getting himself in awful amounts of trouble because of it. Will we see a different side to him in, in season two, do you think? Is that going to happen? Uh, yes, very right. much so. Okay. Um, because Andrzej Sapkowski, the guy who wrote the original books, yeah. um, wrote an incredibly nuanced and beautiful three dimensional character in there. And I campaigned very, very hard to make sure that character existed in season two right. and will continue to exist on. Um, he's more intellectual. He has a philosophical lean, uh, a lot more soulful. And right. um, he does have moments we find in the books where he's quite childish and, and pedantic, but um, he's also these other things. And right. in season one, he was um, not quite monosyllabic, but almost. <laughs> And I wanted to make sure we really explored more, as much as the showrunner's vision would allow, because she, sure. she has her own plan. No, of course. And um, I, so I've got to toe that line between mm. book Geralt and, and Lauren's vision. Right, and get somewhere along yeah. there. Yeah. And there's going to be series three, we know that. Yes, indeed. And four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You never know. You never know. <laughs> but yeah. you love playing him. Hey, baby. Oh, so <laughs> Honestly, you're so, so lucky to have such a, just have such a great pal. And isn't it amazing how they listen? Yes. So well. Yes. He, he, he listens. If you've ever got a problem, yeah. just tell your dog. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and he, he kind of gets it. He centres yeah. it. When, I, when, I've, when I've got my own stuff going on, he'll be close. Well, he's actually almost always close, but he'll be closer. Uh, <laughs> you've got a fantastic reputation, I don't know if you're aware of it, of being really kind on set huh. and being very... Anybody that's worked with you, I've heard this a lot. OK. Um, not everybody is. Like, you, you take the time and the trouble to say to people, how are you doing? Yeah. You know, just that. And it's really important. You know, it really is. I mean, we've got a campaign just now on ITV about this very thing. Just ask people how they're doing and then listen. It means a lot. Yeah. It means a lot. And I think um, especially we're all so busy. Mm -hmm. We're all so busy these days and everything's rush, 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 rush. Now we've got to go, got to go, got to go. It doesn't take long. I mean, if I walk around everyone on set, when I, when I, when I arrive on set and we do rehearsals, whatever it is, and the crew comes in, we do a yeah. crew rehearsal, it takes five, ten minutes yeah. to shake everyone's hand. It doesn't delay the day. Nope. And you just and everyone goes, oh, okay, cool. I feel like a human. So and then we can get on with work. And it's really, really important. No, it absolutely is. Now look, looking at you and much more looking at Cal, <laughs> I think there has to be a 007 with a dog. It's ah. never been done before. Yeah. And you know your name's in the frame for that. I mean, it, you, it, of course you do. Right. <laughs> I think you'd be brilliant, but only with Cal. Uh, yeah, it has I mean, to be in it as well. Cal would make a Can brilliant be... 007 dog. Don't you think so? I mean, or just make Cal 007? I mean, I've I got to say, <laughs> Bond is already stretching belief when it comes to him being a spy. Um, and okay. so having this lugged around with me as well. I mean, he, he's he the first thing... He may stand out from the yeah, crowd. Yeah, if I'm, try, if I'm trying to keep a low profile, it's ruined with him whenever I walk around. 
<laughs> but I think you'd be great. And of course, it's, it's, it's going to happen at some stage. And what about Superman? Do you still have the outfit? I do still have the outfit. At the back of your closet, just in case. Just in case. Yes, I do. Yes, I that do. That with the tuxedo beside <laughs> each other, just ready. <laughs> ready and waiting for the phone calls. Because that um, was an amazing thing to do, wasn't it? Yeah, that was so much fun. Wow. I mean, it's the kind of thing where, I mean, even after, it's been so long since I've put the suit sure. on professionally. I bet it still um, fits, though. It's, uh, yes, yes, it does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thankfully. And um, it, it's, you look back and you just think, what a wonderful, what a wonderful opportunity. Yeah. And even if, even if um, I were to stop acting tomorrow and go, you know, live on a yacht or a boat somewhere, a sailing boat, and just travel the med, um, then, yeah, with Cal. Of uh, course. Obviously. I don't know how much he'd appreciate that, to be honest. But, <laughs> but I'd definitely give it a shot. Yeah. Um, I, I can still look back and say I've, I've worn a cape and, and leapt about the place and entertained Fantastic. some people. Fantastic. Henry, where's home? Where is home? I suppose it's wherever Cal is, but where, where actually do... Because I know you... Was it Jersey you're from? Jersey's where I'm from, yes. Right. Yeah. Do you know, I've never been. It looks so beautiful. Jersey's absolutely stunning. Yeah. I love Jersey. I haven't been back there in a while, yeah. for obvious reasons. Sure, of course. Um, Nobody's been anywhere. No, no. <laughs> um, but I'm hoping to go back sometime next year, as right. long as all goes well. Do you know what? It's so lovely to see you. Thank you Thank for you. coming in. The Witcher's out 17th of December. Yes, indeed. And if you haven't seen it, binge on the first season. You'll love it. It's fantastic, especially if you like Game of Thrones or anything like that. Although it's not really like that, but it sort of is. Um, <laughs> and it's on Netflix. Thank you. Thank you very much. And don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.